What is good, y'all? You dig what I'm saying? And welcome back to it again, another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger. Now, this video is a little bit different. It's not really that much about the Camaro. However, at the end of the video, I will give you guys an update from all of you guys' thoughts and stuff like that from what people have commented down in the comment section and also what I've gotten off of like the forums and stuff like that. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into this video because I'm not going to lie, it's a little different. It's your boy J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video, you did. So basically, my boy Hudson is back in town. Um, I don't know if you guys remember him. It was about, I want to say, three years back. Uh, my boy, he has the Mini Cooper S um, on meth and a whole bunch of other modifications that he's done to the car. If you haven't seen the video, um, all the true OG subscribers who remember this video where I rode in the car with him, um, he has no passenger seat and no interior. The car was completely gutted. I was sitting on the floor holding on for dear life. <laughs> no cap, if you guys haven't seen that video, go ahead and put a card up right now. Make sure y'all go check it out. Don't mind that, that's Jules. But, He's back in town, so I thought I might as well go over there, catch up with him, and while I caught up with him, give you guys an update on his build and show you guys his build, because I'm not going to lie, it's taken a whole 360 from where it was at to where it is now. So, here's that footage, man. Y'all check it out. Y'all enjoy it. Let's get it. Swing. So, a lot of y'all OGs might remember this car. You feel me? Might remember this guy here. This guy Hudson, but um, that's a lot different. You feel me? So are we still on the meth? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so still meth. I just figured all the tanks set up a bit. You can't hear shit. It's awesome. I mean, it's a lot cleaner though. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I like this setup a lot. Yeah. But this oh, fucking man. sub, I don't know what song we can play to. You know what I mean? That's not gonna get me copyrighted. <laughs> I got. Well, you won't really hear the lyrics. Okay. Bet. Like, 
sweating, bro. Like, oh my god, well, bro. You to get some. <laughs> we'll, we'll do a good setup here. We'll face him towards the What the fuck, bruh? That shit is like, God damn, bruh, my ears, G. Hell no, nah, like, I'm not doing that, bro. <laughs> bro, what? Like, oh, bro, it's a headache. I can't listen to it anymore. My right ear, I seriously, I Well, yeah, bro, like that joint's freaking, yeah, bro, dude. Every day listening to music like that. When you got a bass lock, you know you can't turn that bass down. It's got to be all the way up on God damn it, bro. That joint is fucking loud as shit. You can drive, but it's not faster than it used to be. It's still the same. God damn, bro. Where's your fucking plate? All right, y'all, you do what I'm saying? So that's gonna be the end of today's video. I know it's had a crazy um, a 15 inch sub in a Mini Cooper. When I say my ears were literally ringing, like, bro, I felt like I was going deaf, no cap. It was insane, like the bass, it was, bro. <laughs> like, it's so hard to explain exactly how it, like, bro, the, the sub knocked so hard in that car. It was ridiculous. He put a 15 inch sub into a mini coupe. You feel me? And he still has the methanol injection and injection and everything. So don't think that he took that out to put the 15 inch sub in it because he didn't. As you guys saw his setup, I'm not gonna lie, his setup is mad clean. Um, the way he has the box set up and then has the reservoir for the meth itself. Definitely a clean setup. So kudos to you for that, bro. But, um, Let's go ahead and get to the meat and potatoes of this video, exactly what you guys clicked onto this video for. So, I really just want to say thank you guys so much for all of the comments that I got um, on here and on my Instagram. You guys were flooding my DMs, flooding the comments, letting me know what you guys thought it was. A couple of you guys said exactly what I was thinking, um, either a blown ball joint um, or the tie rods or it could even possibly be the steering rack itself. Now, I haven't had a chance to get underneath the car and really check everything out. I did look everything over um, in another video with my boy, Back to the Money. Um, we put the car up on the lift at his job and I noticed something, but I can't speak too much on it because that's going to be a whole different video, so I'm going to drop that later on. But y'all stay tuned for that. Um, so, I'm planning to drop the car off tomorrow night. To my boy J Rod to get some work done. That's right, I said J Rod. <laughs> J Rod Speed Shop, if you guys don't know. I'm dropping the car off with him. He's gonna be doing some work on it for me. Um, blessing your boy. If you guys don't know, J Rod is literally the GOAT when it comes to the LS motor. Whether it be a VET, whether it be a Mero, whatever you need, bro, he got it. So I'm dropping my car off with him. He's gonna be taking care of it. I should be getting it back Friday, right before I go to class. So y'all stay tuned for that video because I'm telling you it's gonna be a banger. After I get the car back, you dig what I'm saying? I'm probably gonna go ahead and jack it up with my boy Lester on Saturday. We got some other stuff that I'm doing for the car on Saturday. I got a lot of stuff planned, but I definitely am gonna take you guys this comments into consideration i'm going to check the tie rods i'm going to check the steering rack um and see if i can't pinpoint exactly where that noise is coming from and then go ahead and swap out that part but with that being said man if you're new to the channel make sure you smash that subscribe button make sure you turn on those post notifications drop a comment in the comment section down below oh 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 oh, oh. Wait, wait 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 j.i reviews yes j.i reviews i'm thinking about adding a new segment to the channel called j.i reviews where basically i review you guys' car now i'm not talking about you sending in a picture or anything and then i rate it i'm talking about an actual like full-on car review of you guys' builds so if that is something that you're interested in and you're in the houston area let me know hit me up on instagram it pops up right here Drop me a DM, let me know. We can definitely link up and work it out. I'm thinking about dropping that on like a weekly basis. So it'll be one video per week. But yeah, man, without further ado, the camera's gonna be full. I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Peace.